Hello you awesome friends, this is Edward Z here and welcome to our next live webinar titled My Success with Facebook Video Marketing. Absolutely pleasure having you all here tonight and if you're watching this webinar live, please stay tuned and ask me key questions in real time and if you're watching this recording in the vault or afterwards, you know where to find us. I'm here to help you succeed in your business. Now, like all our webinars, we teach life revolutionizing marketing. Please listen because the ideas we teach are proven and highly successful. Also as well, this webinar is general educational advice only. So when you're listening to the ideas I present, work out how to apply it to yourself. And if you need some personalized advice, please come and talk to me. And also tonight, as we talk Facebook and as we talk video, there's three core ideas of marketing. I want to help you to get more high profitable clients. I want you to get the business and working satisfaction you seek, and I want you to prosper. In other words, I want you to grow, succeed, and prosper and totally kick butt. And we are here to help. Myself and my partners are all here to help. I'm here tonight to answer your questions. And at the end, if you're a client or a Vault member, feel free to stay back for some Q&A. We can go into a little bit more detail on what you're working on. Now, for those that know me, hello. You can recognize my voice and you know who I am. And for those that don't know me, I want to quickly introduce myself to you. My name is Edward Zier. I'm an ex-marketing mentor, corporate director. I was once a federal agent a very long time ago and spent a little bit of time in the army, which was freaking awesome. And the big thing that I've had happen to me in my life, I've had an amazing life full of downs and ups and downs and ups. My life is freaking awesome right now. I actually got married uh, a week ago. And I'm very excited. And I always tell people. I've been up there and down there and I always tell, it sounds like a joke, but it's actually true. I've slept in the Hilton and I've also slept on park benches. So I've had a very crazy existence in life that I've gone through. But one thing that I can tell you is that it's taught me quite a few things and it's all coalesced into an actual purpose. Uh, these days, I'm very grateful for what I have. My life is awesome. Uh, I do quite a bit of volunteer work. I also do quite a lot of charity work as well, the Order of St. John and the Salvation Army, which I'm very excited about. And also, I'm right into small business sales and marketing. It means a lot to me. I'm an ex-marketing director, a graduate, a post-grad for a Monash University. And for me, a lot of my experience of those has come from working the streets of Sydney and learning a lot about business and marketing. So without further ado, let's get straight into the topic. We're here tonight to talk to you about Facebook video marketing strategies, which has been absolutely exceptional for my business. I'm actually going to go back to the home page or the uh, front cover of this uh presentation. I actually took the screenshot probably about 20 minutes before my actual webinar that you're listening to now. And you'll notice that in the last week, my posts have reached over 40,000 people. I don't know if you can tell, but it's at the top right. And my posts have engaged over 1100 and, well, 1,152 people. And this is just me. I'm spending $20 a day on my Facebook marketing, and it is powerful. I'm getting a lot of coverage. I'm getting a lot of leads, getting a lot of new high value clients. And in this webinar, I'm actually going to tell you how I do it and give you some examples. And the easiest way is to actually visit my Facebook page. <laughs> so if you don't already, please check out my Facebook page, Awesome Marketing with Edward Z. Feel free to like it and just scroll down. You can see exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it to give you some insight. Now, the thing I want to emphasize is I'm not here to tell you how you should do it yourself. Not here to do that. I'm here to just tell you how I'm doing it, and I want to give you some ideas on how you can apply it to yourself to make it effective and just completely powerful for you. So, big thing I want to talk to you about is before I sort of dive into Facebook video and talk about that side of things, I want to talk to you about logic of video. It was proven, I think, in the 1920s. It was proven in the last century. Video and full motion picture has been a proven strategy for, uh, I imagine, over 100 years now, or almost 100 years. And to me, Facebook and video, in a way, some things have changed and nothing has changed. Video, to me, hasn't changed. Video is still motion. It's visual and images designed to persuade and convince people to buy your products or services. But the means of deliver delivery is different. So instead of the old days, of you and me struggling to try and save up funds or somehow get on television or get media coverage or anything. We can self-publish. We can create our own content straight from our mobile phone and paste it straight to Facebook, which is just fantastic. It's a very good strategy. I developed it myself with some uh, input directly from Facebook and it's been beautiful. Now, 
Facebook as a video platform is actually relatively new. Probably for about past, imagine for about the past three years you've been able to do videos on Facebook. However, over the past six months, it's really taken that next level of growth. And Facebook has changed a lot. Ironically, in the webinar that you're listening to, I used to promote and film my webinars directly using Facebook advertising, where people would just click my ad, sign up to our webinar, and hey presto that they're in. Over time, the ad stopped working. And what we found and I found was that people weren't reacting as much to the static ads. It was the video ads on Facebook and the videos which took over as highly powerful marketing platforms that influenced. And what's been very interesting right now is that Facebook used to be dominated quite heavily by things such as free eBooks, downloads, and pretty much crap like that, if you don't mind me saying. It's a lot of knickknacks and free downloads and that. Facebook has really evolved a lot and Facebook has two sides to it. One is Facebook wants to create a better experience for its users and it wants to keep all the junk down. And the other side of it too is that Facebook wants marketers like you and me to be able to put our ads and our adverts exactly in front of our target audience so we get maximum sales for minimal spend. Now what's interesting, Google and Facebook are at war with each other. So right, I actually saw some stats today ironically when I was at a video client. What we're actually finding is that Facebook, I understand now, is 11% of the video volume of YouTube. Now, 11% of YouTube doesn't sound like much, but if you think about it, it's actually quite massive because historically, YouTube would be a video platform, and now you've got Facebook video nibbling away on the corners of uh, YouTube. Very scary for Google. It's very fascinating what we're seeing. Now, bringing this back to you and me, how can we take advantage of video marketing in a zero cost or at least a very cost effective manner to get results? Now, what I found was I've spent thousands of dollars on a lot of Facebook live advertising. I've been doing a lot of it. I've been working away in a lot of different areas and really building my own knowledge in this regard. And what I found was that over time, a lot of my Facebook ads decreased in performance, but my Facebook videos were bringing in the sales and bringing in the results and basically bringing in the bacon. And what I started doing, and I tested a lot of things. I tested eBooks, video links, direct webinar links, and I found video won the day. Every time I did a video, it just had that much more effectiveness and stopping power than, say, did anything else. It got me the most sales. It got remembered. And Facebook is highly recommended. And just a little side note, this isn't in the presentation. A lot of what I'm saying is not. I've been very lucky to speak to the Facebook Sydney guys and have some dialogue with them. And... It's been the Facebook Sydney guys and also the Facebook New Zealand guys that have helped me put together the strategy that I'm actually using today, which is just fantastic. And I just want to share with you, this actual photo I've got there is actually taken by myself at the Microsoft launch in, uh, in Australia where the new store opened. I was very lucky to go behind the scenes. And since that moment, and probably before that, I've been very heavily using Facebook video for absolutely amazing results. And you saw the scoreboard before. If I go back to the start, for, I'm spending twenty dollars a day. Twenty dollars a day. My videos are reaching over forty thousand people a week, uh, a week, which is fantastic. Something I'm very, very proud of. Now, the thing that I really want to bring to is how am I doing it, and what are some of the tips? Now, I'm going to give you some examples of it. By the way, you can just check yourself on my Facebook page because it's all in the in the public. But I'm just going to give you some ideas, and I'm going to talk through some of my examples. To me, there's two sides of producing Facebook content. Now, I'm assuming you got a business page, so you create your Facebook business page. There's two sides of this. There's the technical side and the mechanical side. Then one is what content do you actually put out and how much content do you choose to put out? And of course, the more content you put out is the more that you can expect yourself to grow quicker. Now, talking more technically in the mechanics of things, there's 10 tips, I was correction. <laughs> I've got top 10 tips, there's only seven tips there. Maybe I should read my slides a bit more. <laughs> there you go, I just picked up my own bug. What I have here are the top 10 Facebook video tips, but I've only listed seven of them. So we'll make up another three on the fly to keep you uh, amused and entertained. There's seven tips to it. And actually, while I'm here, I want you to ask questions too. You'll notice I've got a great chat box. Please ask me questions, totally here to help you. Anyway, let's go through the tips. Number one is getting your hardware technically set up. So you wanna make sure you have a good phone because you know phone's often the way that you capture video. 
Uh, you want to make sure that you've got a good data plan if you're going to do data externally or if you're going to, let's say, upload your videos on your home Wi-Fi or your office Wi-Fi. So you want to make sure that technically everything's good in that regard. You want to make sure your Facebook business page is set up correctly. Now, that's a whole nother conversation by itself, but you want to make sure your business page is set up correctly. Number three is you want to think about what angle are you taking? What are you actually selling? What are you actually doing? Uh, and now, it could be if you're a mortgage broker. It might be you giving commentary on what's happening in the loans, housing, and property markets. If you're a business coach, it might be you giving ideas on you know, how clients can improve their lives. You're a marketing mentor, you give marketing tips. Let's say you own a coffee shop, or, or one of my um, clients actually, you know, actually owns a hamburger shop. It's a quite interesting uh, way of work with these people. Might be you putting examples of food on Facebook and showing off the quality of what you have. One of my clients as well does laser wood cutting they show it off. So my corporate clients at the higher end put videos out on Facebook because it helps them better get across their professionalism. So you got to think, what am I doing? What's my angle and how can I get across? And number four is what you have is a 30-day challenge. Now, a 30-day challenge is another conversation and where, depending on your strategy, I suggest this to a lot of clients and this is where I encourage you to do one video a day for 30 days on your Facebook business page. Now, it is an amazing challenge. You want to get a few other things set up first. But for those that have really taken up the challenge, two things have happened to them in the Facebook video challenge. Only about a third to half of people actually make that challenge. But the ones that do really fall in love with Facebook and usually have had an increase by sales by then. And that increase in sales, they have found incredibly rewarding and it's given them a lot more exposure. And as well, it's given them confidence in themselves. 30-day challenge is great. Number five is the three to four rule. When you're putting material out on Facebook, you don't just want to be sitting there saying, buy my services, buy my services. You've got to make it information driven. You've got to make it interesting. You've got to give some tips that are compelling that make people want to engage with you and make people really want to understand what you're talking about. So you've got to make it interesting, make it compelling. And you have to adapt too. When you start putting out content, and this is part of the 30-day challenge, when you start putting out videos on Facebook, a lot of people do have, like I did, like I did, a lot of people have trouble with it at the start because you get unlikes, uh, you might get some negative feedback. It may not go completely the way you want when you start doing it. So the trick is, as you get better at it, you start automatically changing your content to make your delivery more compatible, compelling and interesting. And number seven, you've got to sell your services and win. So with that three to four rule, what we normally recommend is you do either two to three, it depends on your business and your comfort. You do two to three posts, which is just information only, and one post is selling. There's a good balance there. So there to me, some of the key fundamental tips. And the other three tips, which I don't have on that slide, will be do it, do it every day. There you go, three tips. You wanna do it very consistently. And that's another issue as well. With the whole Facebook video strategy, and it's not just Facebook video strategy, it's Facebook full stop. You need regular content to engage people. So gone are the days quite often on Facebook where you can just put together some killer ad campaign that'll just make you money on autopilot. Usually doesn't work that way for a lot of businesses. It, it does help, I have got one too. But usually you gotta do, do a mixture. You do your advanced Facebook ad campaign, plus you put really good content on there to build your brand and really entice people. And what I'll do is I wanna go to some key examples recently of what I've done. And I'm, I wanna say recently, I mean in the last few days. So I'm not talking about years ago, I'm in the last few days, stuff I'm actually doing now. And you can actually see it, this was just done on Sunday, which was yesterday. So you can just jump on my Facebook page and have a look. Now, what I've done is with those key points in mind, I actually do about five videos a day, which is quite a lot. It's quite a lot by many people's standards. For most people, I recommend a video a day. And the idea is giving away some valuable information or insight that helps people following your page. Now, I, my page is Awesome Marketing with Edward Zero on Facebook, and it is implied and pretty obvious that people are following it for marketing ideas and entrepreneurship ideas. So I'm forever giving away ideas on that. Think about what you do. Think about what you do for a living. Think about the advice you commonly give and what you can give away to people to really help them understand what's going on. Now, while I'm here, I wanna go through a few key examples. This is me on Sunday doing some voiceover work at, a, you know, at our video partner for um, a big client. And what it was, my video cl my client actually, um, he's a client too, Dave Cowling, actually videotaped me giving some commentary on audio production. 
And it was really good. It was just me talking about this portable recording booth that I was working in. So it gave some good commentary. It just sounded wonderful. And it looked really, really compelling. It was really good, really enjoyable and a very positive experience. And in this one, I actually just talked about how to record audio and the portable recording booths. People loved it, got people engaged. The other one I have right here is my cat biting my foot. Now you might think, Ed, this isn't very professional. You've got a cat biting your foot. How on earth does that relate to Facebook? Well, it does, it's Facebook. Facebook is social media. Facebook is a mixture of professionalism and having fun. Now, part of my brand, I don't recommend putting up cat footage for everyone out there, but it does say, suit some people very well because my whole thing is, yeah, I'm an entrepreneur and I'm successful and I love working from home and I love my cat and I love spending time with my cat. So it depends on your brand. If you're like trying to be a serious financial planner, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you're having a bit of fun with your brand, absolutely, pets can be very good. And YouTube, ironically, improved, proved how powerful cats go on social media. And just looking at some numbers here too, you may not be able to see it, but this video that I put up here, it, the actual post got reached, it reached 990 people, and the actual video got watched 222 times. That means people watched at least three seconds of it. So it's, it's getting great engagement, it's getting a lot of eyeballs on me. So for one video, I'm getting leverage exposure, which is fantastic. This one here is uh, me giving just some business advice. It's a selfie video on the park. So you notice there's different formats. This is someone videotaping me talking using my phone. This is me videotaping something out of my own eyes giving commentary. And this is me doing a selfie video so you can see different formats. If I look over here, this is actually my paid advertisement video. So in other words, this video, I actually run for $20 a day across the Sydney business market. And what it is is that it has several things and I love this ad, it's done really well for me. It's got subscribed to some awesome marketing ideas. It's got my website in there. And it's got me talking through some of the free information that I have and some of the ways that I can help people. Now, you may not be able to see the numbers here, but so far, this video itself has reached over 106,000 people and it's been viewed for at least three seconds, 77,000 times. There's about 70 likes there. It's been shared 12 times, but the point is, is that it's just absolutely powerful. It's a, it's gone really well for me. It's been absolutely powerful. And what I want to get at is Facebook video is a great thing. You can put videos on Facebook. You can do them straight from your phone to your Facebook page. Doing one a day can work really well for a lot of businesses. But also you can actually set up an ad using video, which is fantastic. So in this case, I've got my video ad in conjunction with the Facebook advertising platform. You can also boost post your videos as well to get that more mileage and exposure. So there are heaps of different ways you can do it. And basically what I love about video and why it's just worked incredibly well for me is that if you think about it, on Facebook, people see a lot of content every day. They probably see, not probably, they see thousands of stories every day. So in order to break through all the clutter in the market, you need regular content, you need regular engagement because the way I look at it is gone are the days that people just see your ad once and give you money. They wanna to get to know you over a period of time and understand you and what you do. There needs to be that level of repetition. In the, I think out of the 60s, I used to say people need to see your ads on average seven times till they buy something. I think it's about 40 these days. I think you really need, because rightfully so, there's been a lot of sharks out there, there's been a lot of cynicism. And people need to really understand who you are and connect with you over a really good period of time until they trust you. So Facebook video to me deals with a lot of issues. A, it's incredibly cheap. You don't have to spend money on the advanced um, Facebook um, advertising platform, which is what I do. You can just put videos on your Facebook business page. You can pump them out. Depending on what you do, you might do one a day, you might do less, you might even do more than that. For me, I've had some days where I do five to 10 videos in a day. It is a lot, it is a hell of a lot. I don't recommend it for anyone. But boy, does it work. Does it give me the exposure? Does it boost my reputation? Does it really put me on the map? And I've even had it to the point where as uh, these days, people in the street have actually walked up to me and say, you're the blogger off Facebook. You, you're the awesome marketing guy. It happens quite a lot. You can ask my wife that, she'll tell you. Now, the reason why I'm saying all this is that think about it in your own way. You might turn around and say, wow, I don't wanna do five videos a day. That sucks, Ed. You know, I only wanna do one a day, one every few days. That's awesome whatever suits you. Or you might turn around and say, Ed, 
I want to do 10 videos a day because I really want Facebook to work for me and I'm really ambitious and I want to make this platform happen. And if you think about it from a relationship selling viewpoint, it completely makes perfect sense because people need to see your ads over and over again so they can build that trust and really love on what you do and that real trust in, the, in, in your brand. So to me, that's why Facebook is so damn good. You can be putting out content all the time and putting out really good videos. And what I wanna do is I wanna open up to questions now. I'd love to get some questions from you because I've really been going through, uh, telling you this from my own viewpoint. Uh, so what I wanna do is please, I'm opening up with questions. I'm just gonna go through some other additional points, but I'd love to hear questions from you. It all sounds quite simple on the surface, but it's something that you wanna practice with and you wanna play with. There's a few honorable mentions that I want to put in in relation to Facebook video. Make sure you've got really good lighting, uh, and that can be an issue if you're out in direct sunlight or it's too dark, you've got to make sure it's good. And also depends on the quality of your phone. Like you can do professional videos, absolutely. You might actually pay for a professional video to be done, and then you do a $20 a day Facebook advertisement was, with it or something like that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. That can work incredibly well, absolutely incredibly well. Or you might use the amateur cuts. What I generally recommend to people is, when it comes to your website, you must have a professional video. There's no debate, you must have a professional video. It might cost you a couple grand. But when it comes to Facebook, there is a lot more tolerance in what you can do and what you can get away with. And we've got a question from the awesome Amina. Thank you so much, it's great having you here. What's the best way to target a vertical? For example, a franchise on Facebook. Great question, Mina. Ironically today, I was actually meeting with a potential franchise client and what, the best way is, is that with Facebook, okay, when you put videos on Facebook, it either goes to your fans on your business page and or also it goes to where you target the advertisement to. Now, Facebook, this is more on the advertising platform, not so much video. Let's say Awesome Mina does a video talking about her services to the franchise community, which is great. What you can do is you can do, let's say, $10 a day or $5 a day, you can do a paid advertisement that plays your video to people who are interested in franchises or franchising. I do believe that is a category on Facebook. So that's how I would do it in that case. Now, Facebook has what's called, Facebook uses a range of targeting in its platform. And again, this is more of the targeting, not so much video itself. It targets on aspects such as uh, stage in life, their interests, and also geography and demography. So for example, age, where they live, and what they're into. So for example, I'm just making this up now. Let's say, Mina, that you're from Sydney, uh, you're, an, you're a solicitor targeting franchises. What you can do is have a really good video. You might get one professionally done and you can do an ad against it. And that would just go to people interested in franchising who are from Sydney that are in between the ages of 35 to 50 or something like that. That they're franchises and business owners. Great way of doing it. That can work really well for you. That's actually not a, way, a bad way of putting it together. Once people are on your Facebook page, and they already like your Facebook page, that's a little bit different. You might just put up really good videos just to entice them into your services. Now, the big thing I sort of want to explain here, there is a difference. If you put a video on your, let's say you got a thousand likes. If you put a video on your Facebook page, probably about five to 10% of people see it. So I do five videos a day on my Facebook page, which probably means that 5%, probably about 30% of my like community, which is 5,674 likes, will see it. So over a thousand people, on my Facebook page will see my content in a given day and the rest are probably shares and stuff like that. The other way of doing it is doing a paid ad where you actually do an ad that physically gets shown to the target market. So there's two different ways of doing it. I do a mixture of both. You can do a paid ad as well as putting posts on your page. I think both are good in their own unique ways. So hope that helps, Mina. I hope that gives you a good answer. I would check out the interest-based targeting on Facebook to really get that across. Hey, pleasure, Mina, glad you liked it. Hey, so any, um, I'm going to keep going through the details, but please, more questions. Open up to questions while I'm here. When it comes to doing your videos, make sure your phone's good. I do recommend the latest phone. So if you're a Google man like me, um, I've got an S6 right now, the Samsung Galaxy S6. It has been outstanding. It's what I use. The audio and visual quality is just beautiful. The S7's coming out, so I'll probably get that um, just before the end of financial year. That's the Samsung Galaxy range. Um, if you're on the Apple stream, uh, latest Apple iPhone, I would recommend because you've got the best microphone, the best video, and also as well, it compensates better in poor lighting conditions. So if you, let's say, compare, let's say, an older iPhone to the new iPhone or an older Samsung S6 to the, you know, the latest uh, Samsung or the previous Samsung, the S5, 
it handles dark conditions a lot better. It just looks better, it just looks stronger. So you wanna make sure you have a good phone. And of course, if you're doing a lot of uploading data-wise, like if you're, okay, if you're using Wi-Fi, that's pretty good. But if you're using your phone data, you wanna make sure you have a good data plan to do it. So there's some of the things that you just wanna consider because you can choose through a lot of data, such as what I have. Okay, so that's good. Thanks, Mina. Great question. Love your work. You're pretty cool. So we've spoken about lighting, spoken about quality. You want to make it interesting. You want to be putting out really interesting concept, content that really gets people's interest tweaked and it gets them right into it. You want to be generous. You want to give them things. So I'm putting out invites to my live webinars, free content, blog posts. Come and buy something from me. Works incredibly well. I'm being generous in what I'm doing. We also got the awesome Rod Sanchez on the line, if I may uh, quote Rod. Rod's a high-end acupuncturist based in Sydney CBD. He can put out information about natural health, helping people, some of the tools that he used, the herbs, the Chinese medicines that he works with. Anything on his Facebook page to make it interesting. So I just want to say keep up the good work. The other thing you want to love about Facebook is you have really good analytics. So when you're putting up a video, you can see, for example, I'll just go back a little bit just to one of my videos. Uh, I'll get this one. Yeah, the cat biting my my cat biting my foot. In this case, it was it was up yesterday at nine thirty three a.m. In that time, seven hundred seven people. The po this video post has reached seven hundred seventy people, seven hundred seven people, and at least one hundred thirteen people have watched it for more than three seconds. So you get some data there. You can also look at people who've watched it for twenty five percent, fifty percent. People who watched the whole thing. So you get very good analytics. So you can really gauge what works and what doesn't and how exactly that it flows for you. So you've got quite a few options there and some really, really good functionality. So the analytics are just outstanding, just outstanding. I really do uh, highly recommend that. What you also have as well is you need to be wary of Facebook terms and conditions. So when it comes to, a lot of people ask me saying, Ed, I don't have a Facebook business page or can I just put content out on my personal page? You can but you have to be very careful because technically speaking, your personal page is not meant for selling. It's actually against Facebook terms and conditions. So you've got to, don't even want to put out content there, but you've got to be very, you got to tread cautiously so you don't annoy people and get complaints and get your account shut down. Very pleasure, Rod. So something to be mindful of. The other thing in terms of Facebook terms and conditions that you've got to be really, really careful about is on your actual page, you gotta make sure you don't breach any of their conditions. Um, you gotta be accurate in what your product is, um, nothing derogatory, that type of thing. And to me, usually, as long as you're ethical, you've got nothing to worry about. If you're not slamming anyone uh, and you're marketing your products accurately, you got nothing to worry about. But there's just something to keep in mind. One thing that they do have in the advertising, the advanced platform, they do have this, they do have this, is that if you're selling a subscription product, which I do, my main product, oh, my online product is my awesome marketing vault by Edward Zier, which is an online learning program. If people in that ad, I have to tell people it's a, it's a subscription product. So my wording goes, subscribe to some awesome marketing ideas because it's a subscription product. If I didn't do that, that would be in breach of Facebook terms and conditions and I might get my account shut down. So. Usually, if, you, if you're pumping out just videos on your Facebook page itself, it's usually not a big problem. But the moment you're doing boosted posts or paid ads, you could be asking for trouble. So just make sure you can read up about it, uh, the Facebook terms and conditions. Um, but usually, at the end of the day, if you're accurate, you're kind, usually you've got nothing to worry about. Please just check out the Facebook terms and conditions just to make sure you get it right. Or I can help you too if that's what you need. Hey, and the awesome Mina, we've got another question for you, from you. Thank you, Mina. Mina asks the audience, what is the best way to moderate negative feedback comments to a video post? Should you respond slash restrict comments? My God, Mina, that is a great question. And that's something that I've always sort of dealt with. It's funny, I've been through the whole process of um, negative comments. I used to respond to them, I used to try and answer them. And I realized it was a complete waste of time because at the end of the day, I'm talking to people that don't like my business. I want to talk to people that do like my business. If someone doesn't, if someone sees a video of mine and doesn't like it, I want them to move on. I only want people who are really engaged with me to actually watch, enjoy, and benefit from the video. So what I do is I just delete them all. So what you can do these days is if someone leaves, some, leaves something negative or even something that's sort of remotely negative, I just delete it now because at the end of the day, I'm just not interested. I just don't want that negativity on my page. And the beauty of Facebook, this is why I like Facebook over Twitter. 
uh, for a lot of reasons. On Twitter, it's very easy to get trashed. There's not much you can do about it. On Facebook, if someone trashes you, right from your phone, you can, using Facebook Pages Manager, you can just delete their post and ban them from commenting on your page um, forever. It's really good. Um, I, tragically, actually, um, I, I was mentioning before, I got married on Sunday. It was really good. I got married a week ago. Even our wedding photos on Facebook got some negative comments. So even it was our wedding, people even trashed us on that, that one. So some some people become really nasty keyboard warriors. And I've met some keyboard warriors. Like behind a keyboard, they're really aggressive and dominating and all that. And when you meet them face-to-face, -face, they're weaklings, right? Absolute weaklings. But behind a keyboard, they're really tough. And I've actually had that happen quite a bit, actually. But to me, don't respond. You just delete them, you block them from your page, and you forget about it. The good news is you don't get much of it. You don't get much of it. So uh, you might get trolled. For every thousand positive bits of interest, some idiot will troll you. But you just block them. Uh, you just you can just delete the comment ban from the page. Oh, pleasure, Mina. Thank you for your congrats. Yep, yep. Now it's been really good. Very blessed. So yeah, I hope that helps. Um, I used to. There's been a lot of debate and conjecture about how to handle you know negative Nancys and trolls and all that. Such as, oh well, you know you should talk to them. You should try. It's, it's crap. Just delete them because again, why do you want to waste your valuable time and energy talking to someone who doesn't love what you do? Pure and simple. So something I highly, highly recommend. So a very good way of doing things. A pleasure, glad that helps. So yeah, there you go. So we've spoken about a few things. We've spoken about video. Please get your questions through. I'm just going to do a quick recap, actually. We've gone really well for time tonight. But just as a quick recap, video was proven almost 100 years ago. We know it works. Facebook is, as of today, from the information I saw, is 11% of the volume of YouTube. It is growing massively as a video platform, and I think it's better than YouTube in a lot of ways, especially from a marketing point of view. A lot of the old ads aren't working the way they used to, and the video ads have really, really taken off. I've tested a lot of things, and I've found putting videos on Facebook, such as what I do now, works incredibly well. Please like my, if you don't uh, already, please like my page, please follow my page. You'll see exactly how I do it, so you know I'm telling the truth. I put in the top 10 Facebook video tips, but I only listed seven of them because I missed that one. You can laugh at me. Make sure your hardware is technically set up. Make sure your business page is set up correctly. Work at the angle to sell your services. 30 day challenge is very good, not for everyone, but if you're really serious about Facebook video, do a video day for 30 days and you'll get good at that. Three information posts to one sales post. Make it interesting, adapt, and sell your services and win. Got a few examples. This is me being videotaped talking about uh, audio, just as part of what I do. This is just fun, my cat biting my foot, which he does all the time. He's a naughty little bunny who I love very much. A selfie video, me just giving some information on the park. And a more serious sales video of me giving information, also sales, doing this at... Um, right near Luna Park uh, on the North Shore of Sydney. Absolutely beautiful. And this is with a paid advertising campaign. So a lot of things you can do. And the trick is it's all straight, not for this one. I did a bit of post-production work on this one using Camtasia. But for most of the videos, or almost all of them, it's phone straight from phone to Facebook. So there's no waiting, there's no messing around. It is so fast to do, and I highly recommend that. The moment you've got to take a video, then you've got to copy it to your PC, and then you've got to it destroys a project. It's going to be straight from phone to Facebook. And you use Facebook Pages Manager to do that. Works incredibly well. And just a few honorable mentions. Have really good lighting. Make sure you a good quality phone or camera on how you're doing it. Make sure it's interesting. Give great information. Keep a close eye on your analytics and be very wary of Facebook terms and conditions. Usually only if you're doing the uh, advertising. And so there you go. We've uh, come to the end of this one. This has been a very quick one with heaps of information. And while I'm here, I'm just going to go through a few ways that we can all work together if you're not already. And feel free to get me any questions while you're here. I'll just let you know, so marketing mentoring, I've got quite a few options. If you enjoy what I'm doing, you need a hand with Facebook and other areas of marketing your business. I'd love to help you. Everything I teach is proven life revolutionizing marketing strategy. So it's my job to help you grow your businesses and get more high value clients. Uh, I've got an online course which I made reference to before. It's the Awesome Marketing Vault by Edward Zier, which is at my website. It's just $97 a month. It's a great online course with full of information and content. And also it gives unlimited email contact to myself. So it's a great 
online means of boosting your own knowledge to help you totally kick butt and succeed in your business. And as well, just with the personal mentoring options as well, um, feel free to download my corporate profile. If you go to my website and click mentoring, you can download my corporate profile, which shows all the options. So there you go. Thank you for being such a great audience. This has been an exceptionally tight and powerful webinar with some very pointed questions. Thank you, Mina. And great having you on the line as well. And just a few acknowledgements too. I've been using a lot of images from XCOM, Spock from Star Trek, Eric Cartman. I want to thank Vault Boy and, um, at, from the Fallout Bethesda uh, Softworks, Martha Arafin from Trusted Wayworks, and even Gordon Ramsay. And also I want to thank you for being on the line tonight. And also the people watching this in hindsight uh, sometime later. And just so you know, because I've talked about technology, this video was done on Monday, the 22nd of February, 2016. Uh, so depending on when you listen to it, the phones may be way more advanced by then, but chances are I'll redo it. So there you go, I just wanna say thank you awesome friends. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Uh, unless there's any more questions, I am going to retire for the evening, but just to let you know the recording will be coming out and be sent to my database tomorrow. So a lot of people do watch the recordings of this as well. So if there's anything you missed, no sweat. Uh, the email should be going out about 11 o'clock tomorrow. So just stay tuned for that. Um, if you don't get or anything, feel free to drop me a line. So. There you go. Thank you so much for this. And just as a recap too, um, visit my website, excellenceabove.com.au. You can sign up to the awesome marketing vault right now if you're interested. And of course, you can email me if you want to have a chat or talk about how I can help. Well, there you go. It's my job to help my clients get more high value, profitable clients. Just say thank you for a great event. Mina, it's a pleasure. Thank you, Rod. And thank you for all those quiet people. So I usually, even if I get 50 or 30 or 10 or whatever people sign up, it's always about one or two doing all the talking. So I just want to say thank you. Anyway, have a great evening, you wonderful people. Expect to see the recording tomorrow, and I'm here to help. Stay tuned. Have fun. Talk to you all later. And thank you for being the best audience.